Hello, and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name's Lana, I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer. Today's video is going to be all about Adobe Fresco version 3.9. This update is really exciting because we're seeing some cool new features to colors and motion paths. Grab your iPad and let's jump in. You may or may not know that in Adobe Fresco, you can use a multicolor swatch feature. The cool new update that we're seeing in version 3.9 is that they now have built in multicolor swatches for you to try and use. These new multicolor swatches are available for select brushes in the app. So let's take a look at some of my favorites. This feature is not available for the vector brushes in the app, only select pixel brushes. So all you need to do to access these is select your brush. So I've got my comics letter brush selected first. You're going to tap your color chip and you're going to make sure that you have the all section selected, and you're going to tap the fresco colors category. Here you'll find the new multicolor swatch options. So you can see there's quite a few of them. So let's test them out. You tap one, adjust your brush size a bit. So you can see the multiple colors that are built right in to the brush. They have ones that are different interesting shapes. So this is really cool, especially if you want to create dynamic 3D effects, especially if you're a lettering artist like me, this is pretty cool. And because all of the multicolor information is built right into the brush, you can do this in a single pass instantly. So that's the comics letterer. Let's take a look at the small chisel brush. So this is also under the lettering category. I like this brush because it has like a flat ribbon effect. So while you have access to all of these different swatches, depending on the brush that you choose, the effect is completely different. Such beautiful results, right? So those two first examples were under our pixel brushes category, but these effects are also available under our live brushes category for watercolor and oil paint. So let's use our basic watercolor brush and see how that looks. So you can see the effect is different, completely unique, but so cool. Especially with the watercolor, you can get large areas of coverage. And it even spreads and feels and looks like real watercolor, so. Be sure to explore that. We've got this last one. Just beautiful, beautiful effects. Then we're gonna look at our oil paint detail brush. That's pretty cool. So you can see again how this multicolor effect looks completely different depending on what kind of brush you use. Now I do have a video tutorial that I'll link in the description box below and in the card above that shows you how you can make your own multicolor brush in the Fresco app and get your own kind of cool effects if you don't want to use the pre-installed versions. Now this isn't the only way that you can use these brushes. Let's say that you want to customize them a little bit. You can, so let's see how. So with any of these brushes, let's say the small chisel, for example, I've selected this red sphere to get this kind of effect. But let's say I wanna change the color. I can do that by tapping my color chip, going into my HSB slider and adjusting the hue. 
This way I can get the same kind of effect by just changing the color. And this can be done with any of the multiple color swatches. In addition to using the multicolor properties of these brushes, you can also select something like something like the hard round brush. And you can use these as stamps. So there's some interesting shapes here in the swatch library. Again, I recommend using the hard round brush for something like this, if that's the kind of effect or use that you want out of these brushes. Next, let's take a look at the updates to motion paths. So if you've used Fresco before, you'll probably know that there's animation and motion features built into the app. With this update, we're seeing more features and ways that you can edit your motion path and the way objects move along those paths. So let's take a look. So I'm starting with just a little simple sun graphic that I created. Whenever I'm animating in Adobe Fresco, whatever layer I want to apply motion to, I always make sure to duplicate it. I do this because whenever you apply motion to a layer, it can't be removed. So I always like to have a non-motion version of that layer just in case I change my mind. I'm going to go to the bottom right hand corner, tap the motion icon, and in the middle here, we'll see an option for path. From there, I'm gonna draw a simple arc. So our update is here where you see grow slash shrink. I'm gonna to toggle that on and I'm going to start experimenting with this percentage slider first. You can also tap in the box and change the value with the number pad so as you can see, it starts one size and it's growing and it ends up being really big by the time it gets to the end. Let's say that I want it to start one size, grow, and then end at the same size as it was in the beginning. I can adjust that by changing the number of times slider. So now it's growing and then it's shrinking back to, the, to its original size by the time it gets to the end of the path. And it can do this as many times as you'd like just by increasing that number of times slider. So now it sort of looks like it's pulsing as it grows and shrinks along the path. That's the basic approach for this grow and shrink feature. You can also do this in the reverse way So now it's going smaller and then getting bigger. So you can really make this whatever you'd like it to be. It's really cool and really interesting. And it's a really nice addition to this motion path update. Paths are some of the easiest ways to add instant motion and animation to your work in Fresco. So definitely experiment with the grow and shrink feature. Next, we're going to take a look at Sway. So again, I'm just going to duplicate my layer, hit my motion, select path. I'm gonna make the same sort of arcing motion. So this time, I'm gonna to toggle on my Grow Shrink and I'm going to experiment with the Sway feature. So I just bumped it up a bit that the moon is twisting and turning and swaying as it travels along my path. You can make this effect even more intense, making the sway more exaggerated back and forth with higher values, doing it negative in the opposite way will mean that it'll turn back and then forward as opposed to forward and then a bit back. So that's the basic idea for this sway feature. And of course, you can apply both grow and shrink and sway in the same graphic. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna adjust my percentage slider like before. 
adjust my number of times slider. So now you can see that it's growing, shrinking, and cycling four times as it sways along this motion path. So a really approachable way, like I said, to experiment with motion and animating your work in Adobe Fresco that literally anyone can do. I've got a whole video about animation and motion in Adobe Fresco that I will link in the description box below if you wanna learn more about animating in Adobe Fresco. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in a comment down below. If you wanna learn more about motion and animation in Adobe Fresco, click the video over here. I also have a full playlist of Adobe Fresco tutorials for you to learn more all about this program. Be sure to leave this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.